Hi, this is Pankri and welcome to Movie Talkies. Today I will be reviewing Fane Khan with stars Anil Kapoor, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and Rajkumar Rao in the lead roles. So star cast is quite impressive, but the Belgian film Everybody's Famous ki ye Bollywood remake is not impressive hai ya nahi? Let's find out. The film revolves around Prashant Sharma and Fane Khan who work in a cake factory in Mumbai. अपनी जवानी के दिनों में वो एक ऑर्केस्ट्रा के लीड सिंगर हुआ करते थे लेकिन टैलेंटेड होने के बावजूद भी वो वहीं के वहीं रह जाते हैं लेकिन फने सपने देखना नहीं छोड़ता एंड ही एस्पायर्स टू मेक हिज ओवरवेट डॉटर लता अ सिंगिंग सेंसेशन अपने इसी सपने को पूरा करने के चक्कर में वो मशहूर सिंगर बेबी सिंह को अपने कलीग और दोस्त अधीर के साथ मिलकर किडनैप कर लेता है व्हाट हैपेंस देन फॉर्म्स द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्लॉट ये कहना गलत नहीं होगा कि इस फिल्म में सिर्फ एक ही चीज देखने लायक है और वो है अनिल कपूर की दमदार परफॉर्मेंस। He is fantastic as Lata's dreamer dad and displays a myriad of emotions. No doubt Anil Kapoor is a fab actor, लेकिन उन्हें इतनी रेंज दिखाने का मौका इसलिए मिला क्योंकि सिर्फ उनका ही कैरेक्टर है, which is well written. लेकिन जब वो मुंबई बेस्ड है तो वो हैदराबादी एक्सेंट में क्यों बात करते हैं और वो एक्सेंट भी आता जाता रहता है। लेकिन उनकी वाइफ और उनकी बेटी टिपिकल नॉर्थ इंडियन स्टाइल में बोलती है, तो कौन है ये लोग और कहां से आए हैं कुछ पता नहीं। Aishwarya is looking stunning. She is perfect in her role. She is quite the diva. But in the acting department, she is very behind. She is not at all convincing in her emotional scenes, and her character is very half-baked. With, of course, a sob story. Rajkumar Rao is superb as Anil's timid best friend Adhir, but his role is not more than that. His pairing with Aishwarya is very unusual and refreshing, and surprisingly, it is the most interesting thing about this whole film. But it was not explored at all. Their love story looked very intriguing, but the makers conveniently sidelined it. Pihu, who is playing Anil Kapoor's daughter, has made an impressive debut, but his character is very irritating. Divya Datta has played Anil Kapoor's wife's role, and every time he has been successful in leaving his wife. Girish Kulkarni has played Aishwarya's manager's role, and what he was doing in his eyes was what he was doing in his eyes. He is just the same. He is looking very creepy. हर कोई सीक्रेट सुपरस्टार का शक्ति कुमार नहीं बन सकता। After all, उसे आमिर खान ने प्ले किया था। फिल्म सही नोट पे शुरू होती है, but it falls flat as it progresses. It's a very boring movie and it's all over the place. इतने सारे different plots एक साथ चल रहे हैं और एक भी आपको बाधे नहीं रखता। The writing is so lazy that it's annoying. The father is plain delusional. वो किसी और दुनिया में कुछ अलग ही unrealistic सपने देख रहा है। लता को एक बार भी रियाज करते हुए नहीं दिखाया गया और ना ही क्लाइमेक्स को छोड़कर पूरी फिल्म में कहीं पर भी उसके टैलेंट को शोकेस किया गया। Only her dad keeps saying that she is talented. I could not relate or root for Lata at all. इतने नखरे, इतने tantrums when she is not even proved herself. Plus she throws a fit at just about anything. ऐसे कौन करता है? Aishwarya gets comfortable too soon with her kidnappers. बिल्कुल चिल मार के घर बसा लेती है। That she suffers from Stockholm syndrome वो तो है ही। also, it is such a big star and the police only check the current location of the phone's current location. She doesn't see where she was before. In this film, there are a lot of loopholes and this is very unrealistic. There are a lot of films like this, but at least they are engaging. This film is not up to the mark and I will blame the writers and director Atul Manjrekar. If there is something good in Fane Khan, it is only Anil Kapoor's scenes. Though this film is all about music, only the song Tere Jaisa Tu Hai stays with you. Dialogues and screenplay are very disappointing. Watch this movie only if you are an Anil Kapoor fan. I give Fane Kha a rating of 2 stars. So that's all I have for you on Fane Kha. Karva's review is coming up next. So stay tuned to Movie Talkies and do not forget to subscribe.